episode, I'll make these old chairs look new again with new upholstery for the seats and a few new coats of paint. I'll get started by removing the old seats with a flathead screwdriver. To prep the chairs and get them ready to paint, I'll clean them with a little soap and water and an abrasive pad. Then I'll bring the chairs outside and rinse them off with clean water. I'm using a leaf blower to help dry the chairs off, then I'll wipe them down with a clean rag and leave them outside to dry. While the chairs are drying off outside, I'll get started removing the old upholstery with a screwdriver. After allowing the chairs to dry, I'll give them all a quick sanding, only spending about five minutes each sanding with 150 grit sandpaper. Now that I've got the chairs prepped and ready for paint, I'm going to prime them. And I've had the primer tinted. This is sticks. This adheres to just about everything. And I tinted the primer just because it's easier to see what you've painted. And also you won't have to apply as many coats of finished paint. I let the primer dry overnight and for the finish coat I'm using Benjamin Moore Advance. The color is Brazilian Blue and this is a high gloss finish. I didn't thin the primer but the finish paint's a little bit heavier so I'm adding just a little bit of water to make it spray more evenly. I'm using the Rockler HVLP spray system. And it's, it's not a professional spray system, but it does a pretty good job, and it's a pretty inexpensive way to get started spraying. To upholster the chairs, I started out with the high-density polyester foam cushion. I ripped it in half to try to get two equal pieces that measure just about three-quarters of an inch thick. And now I'm taking the seat, and I'm going to trace the cushion to the exact size of the seat using a razor blade. Next I'll cut the polyfoam and I'm cutting the polyfoam about three quarters of an inch wider than the seat on all sides. When I cut the upholstery, I'll make sure I have enough material to pull around the seat and then staple it to the bottom of the seat, starting at the center of each side and then working towards the corners. When I get to the corner, I'll do my best to not have any seams and make it look as even as possible. I'll use a sharp razor blade to cut away the extra material. When I first removed the seats, I made sure to label the bottom of the seat and the chair so when I reattached the seat, the screw holes would line up. I'm adding nylon domes to the bottom of the chair and I'll pre-drill holes so I don't split the leg with the screw. 